In Rotation 5, player positioning is as follows. The H2 in Zone 1, followed by the M1, the Setter, the H1, the M2 in the back row replaced by the Libero, and the opposite. Rotation 5 is one of the simplest serve-receive formations regardless of who the three primary passers are. Traditionally, the H1 moves back to pass in Zone 5 and hits goes. The M1 moves back to the 3 meter line and has a handful of offensive options from here. A middle attack, or maybe even a back middle attack, a slide, and from here she can also hit a red. The libero passes in zone 6 and the H2 passes in zone 1. There aren't many overlap rules to worry about here. The M1 must stay to the right of the setter, and the opposite back at the end line must be between the libero and the H2. And lastly, the H1 must be in front of the libero. Here's how it looks. There is some flexibility in where the M1 starts in this formation. Depending on what offensive play the M1 wants to hit, or where the M1's best starting position might be, the M1 can move as far into the court as desired, into zone 3 or even into zone 4. The only thing to make sure of here is that the setter remains to the left of the M1, and the setter also needs to stay to the right of the H1 if they start going that way. From here, the middle can easily hit a middle attack or a slide. You can also have the opposite pass in serve-receive. If you'd like the opposite to pass instead of the H2, the opposite steps into zone 1 and the H2 steps back near the end line. The only overlap consideration here is that the H2 needs to be to the right of the opposite. The H1 is still passing in zone 5 and hitting a go. Here is what rotation 5 looks like with both of these changes. If you'd rather have the opposite and H2 passing instead of the front row H1, the H1 moves to the left sideline and out of the passing formation. The libero and opposite move into zone 5 and zone 6, and the H2 passes in zone 1. The H1 hits a go, and the middle still has the same offensive options. Here's how it looks with the H1 not passing. The setter and M1 are shifted into the middle of the court. Here is the same team in the same match, but the setter and M1 are now along the right sideline here in Rotation 5. This shows how easy it is to make this adjustment depending on what you want the M1 to be doing and where the M1 can be most successful. This adjustment can also affect what the opposing blockers will focus on. The next video will break down Rotation 6.